Hey guys, it's Ian with IanBlueMusic.com. Today we're going to be going over the differences between recording vocals in FL Studio and in Logic Pro. Okay, so there's a whole series of videos I'm doing on this, the differences between uh, FL Studio 20 and Logic Pro 10.5. You can go and check out those other ones, but really what I'm doing is comparing. So if you have one of the softwares, you can know what it's like to switch over to the other. Maybe you or thinking about it, you don't know if you want to pull the trigger, um, I'm gonna give you a lot of insight, or maybe you're starting off at a new one and you know, you've know you got all this experience in one and you want to get started in the next other software. So, hope that made sense. Today we're gonna to be starting off in FL Studio. I'm going to track vocals really quickly and then I'm going to spend the rest of the video uh, tracking vocals in Logic, pros and cons of each. All right, so let's get into it. I've got a beat pulled up. I've got some vocals actually already on it. So listen when I tell you I'm not the man. Don't focus what I can't do. Focus what I can't. All right, so these have already been produced out and everything and uh, more or less mixed down for this demo. Uh, but I'll turn those off and I'll go over what it's like to track vocals. So first things first, uh, you can see I've already routed into the FL Studio Mixer. That's what you're going to want to do. Go and select one of your inputs. I've got my mic coming in through input three, and then this is gonna be the channel I record to, and then this will automatically be highlighted, and that means it's armed and ready for recording. You wanna record a dry signal, obviously, but then you can, if you wanna hear what it's like to have effects on, you can route it to another channel, and that way you can hear the effects. So, so um, you're, you're gonna, gonna hear, unfortunately, unfortunately both the dry and the uh, tuned process vocals just for a little bit so i'll track some vocals don't judge me so listen when i tell you i'm not the man don't focus what i can't do focus what i can i ain't got a brand new car i ain't got no plans i'm just a fan please can't you understand all right so that's the f oh let's turn that off that's, that's the, the first part of the hook all right and then that's automatically going to be a routed to the effects channel that I already made. And I already have that set up. And um, you can see those are separate. You get 10 effects slots. And I'm sure you know a little bit about that. If you've ever used FL Studio, it's pretty similar to most DAWs. So let's go ahead and play that back. So listen when I tell you I'm not the man. Don't focus what I can do. Focus what I can I ain't got a brand new car, I ain't got no plans I'm just a fan, please, can't you understand? The interesting thing about FL Studio is you can drag this thing anywhere You can put it literally anywhere I do focus what I um, Where most DAWs, you've got each channel is its own effects channel But this is just routed to Mixer Track 11 And you can put it wherever you want Which is kind of cool, just a little different So cool, I like that take for example, I don't really, but we'll, we'll say I do. And uh, there's just one thing I want to fix on it. You know, this line here. I got a brand new car. I got no. I just don't think that line's very good. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and what I would do when I'm recording vocals is I'd mute it and I'd just retake the whole thing and then I can chop it up here in a second. So arm for record and play. So listen when I tell you I am not the man Don't focus what I can do Focus what I can I ain't got a brand new car I ain't got no plans I'm just a fan Please can't you understand Alright So as you notice I forgot to switch on That effects channel there And relink those uh, But I think we got a pretty good take Let's see how that sounds Specifically that part I didn't like before I ain't got a brand new car I ain't got no plans Alright and we'll say, for example, that floats my boat. And so um, if you're comping vocals, comping being, you know, doing several takes and picking the best parts of each, the way it's going to work is you're going to have to literally go through and slice each part that you want. Uh, if you know anything about FL Studio, you know that it really wasn't designed for vocals. This is actually a better process than it used to be. So it's not their strong suit. Uh, but let's play that back. Can't do focus what I can. I got a brand new car. I got no plans. I'm just a fan. Please, can't you understand? All right. And for the sake of this video, we'll say that's the exact vocal tone I want. Sounds pretty decent. They chop together relatively well. So 
what we've learned here is that as far as comping vocals go, if you're going to do, you know, seven takes and take the best of each take, it's, it's going to be a little bit tough. It's going to be a little bit messy because imagine trying to slice everything down, especially if it's one uh, phrase or a word, if I want to get really precise with it. It's not very quick. I've used FL Studio for a long time. This is really great if you're doing, for specifically, I think hip hop vocals uh, really lends itself to this software. If it's going to be something where you're doing it in one take and you, you aren't going to be comping and choosing multiple takes, you're just doing one take all the way through and you're not super concerned with the nuances of pitch and quality, I think FL Studio works perfect. It does get a little bit messy when you try to comp things. Also, just the fact that these are all still separate takes is a little bit confusing and can get a little bit messy. But that's what it's like ultimately to record vocals into FL Studio. Cool. Now let's jump over to Logic Pro 10.5. All right, I'm going to be honest up front. I like the way vocals work in Logic. I've only been using it for a little less than a year. And compared to FL Studio, it is a very smooth process. How this works is I've got the beat up here. Um, I've dragged it in from FL Studio. The beat was produced in FL Studio. I've been doing the vocals in Logic. I already have a vocal comp track here. So listen when I tell you I'm not the man. Don't look at what I can't do. Look at what I can't. I've duplicated that track down here. And the difference is, like I was saying before, that whatever gets recorded onto this has this effects rack. And if I drag this clip to another channel, uh, it'll it'll take on the effects of whatever channel it's on. So these are all mixer channels. I'm going to mute the old one and I'll just do a quick take. So you can hear it's automatically, um, you won't hear the effects coming through until I hit record or I can click this, uh, this monitor icon here. Uh, but I'll turn that off and now it'll give me a quick lead in time and then we'll be live on the recording. So listen when I tell you I am not the man Don't focus what I can't do, focus what I can I ain't got a brand new car, I ain't got no plans I'm just a fan, please, can't you understand? Alright, very cool, let's listen So listen when I tell you I am not the man Don't focus what I can't do, focus what I can I ain't got a brand new car, I ain't got no plans I'm just a fan, please, can't you understand? Now I liked all of that. Let's just, just for funsies, we will do another uh, take over it. And I'm gonna show you some of the cool features in Logic. So listen when I tell you I am not the man. Don't focus what I can't do, look at what I can't. I ain't got a brand new car, I ain't got no plans. I'm just a fan, please, can't you understand? All right, and now look at that. This is very, very neat. I'll actually maximize that. You see that it just creates a stack. And um, what it does automatically is you can adjust things. If you click here, you can drag things around, uh, but automatically it'll make it so you can't drag it. It'll actually just select and highlight whichever part of which clip you wanna use, and it'll give you a little crossfade there. So look at this. Tell you I'm not the man Don't focus what I can't do Focus what I can I ain't got a brand new car I ain't got no So let's say I just didn't like the word car I Just highlight that other one Let's see how that sounds Tell you I'm brand new car I ain't got no plans Boom You can't even hear the difference And you can just click back and forth If I want to A, B test it Cry, cry, cry I ain't got no plans. I'm just a fan, please. Can't you understand? And once you're all done selecting, you know, whichever parts of which you want to use, and you can drag and select, it's beautiful. And you can just close it, and it all shrinks back down into one smooth vocal take that you can work with. Ah, wow, Logic, very convenient. The cool thing about this is if you're like me and you're not a particularly good singer, this allows for a lot of imperfections because you can do a million takes. Um, whereas in FL Studio, that can get messy. Check this out. Holy, oh my goodness. There is a lot going on there. And if I unmute it, you'll see all the selections of each particular part I did. Um, I'll actually delete that. And I'll delete that channel, actually. 
and then we can just zoom in and you can see how I've went gone in and um, selected each part so listen when I tell you I'm not the man don't look at what I can't do look at what I can't now it, even right here this is a good example it was the original lyrics were focus what I can't do focus what I can't do focus what I can't do focus what I can which doesn't really make sense there's missing words so I switch it so look at don't look at what I can't do look at what I can and I kept almost all the original take I did a few takes of me saying don't look at what I can't do look at what I can and then I integrated those into the original so this is all the original recording down here, and then I've added in some new words up here. Don't look at what I can't do. Look at what I can. And I'll recopy so you can hear what it used to sound like. Don't focus what I can't do. Focus what I can. But I wanted to um, take out as little as possible, and you can barely tell. I mean, I really can't. Man, tell. Don't look at what I can't do. Look at what I can. Um, so you can really get into the details and find the best part of each take if you're either a perfectionist or not a very good singer such as myself. So there you have it. There's a lot of other things for both softwares when it comes to recording vocals, but this is the bulk of the process. This is not a how-to video. This is just to get an idea on what the differences are and give you a little bit of a kickstart into one software or the other. If you have any questions, I know there's some things that I missed, so you might be saying, hey, listen, you forgot this feature in FL Studio, or you forgot this, it's so important in Logic. I get it. But if you have any specific questions, I'm happy to answer you and help you out on your new journey into a new DAW. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.